back on Kauai. And uh, this is the first video I've done um, because I've been a little busy. This is about how to get your car back when it's been stolen. That's not what the police called it, but um, I'm not going to reveal who did it. But here's what happened. For those of you who uh, might store your car with someone, um, it all started back when I prepaid for the storage, by the way. Um, but it all started back when um, I notified him by text that I was coming back early. Didn't ask for a refund. Um, I was just letting him know I was coming back six days early. And I would like the car at the airport, as we had discussed. His response was, you owe me more money. Saying that he needed my credit card. So that's when the sketchy things started happening. Credit card uh, suggestions. And um, then the tire was losing air. No, it couldn't be because it was a brand new Michelin. They don't lose air. Um, and that continued. And I don't know why he needed to fix my tire um, when I suggested I would come and get it. But he said no one comes on the property because of liability. So this just got sketchier and sketchier. Um, but I'll go into how I got it back. I went to the police and um, this was their suggestion. Text him a message saying that you're at the police and he should call them. When you're a crook... You don't call the police, even if they leave a message on your voicemail. So things went downhill from there. Um, but I did have help. Once I told the story, I had help every step of the way, um, even if it really didn't come from the police. Um, so my friends, who are wonderful, um, I'm staying here in this amazing place, the birdhouse. Look at the view I have over my right shoulder. That's my view from my deck. I'm staying in the birdhouse. Um, so continue. How do you get your car back when it's been stolen? So he wouldn't, he didn't bring the car to me at the airport. My friend came to get me. And um, we went to the police and that's what they said to text him and the police called, but they didn't realize that crooks don't call back. So um, I was telling some lovely people that are staying here about the situation and um, wonderful Preston decided to help me. So I took my key and my title and we went downtown and we're going to go to the two places of the addresses that we had. And guess what? We ran into him, the crook that had my car. Oh, he also said we can't keep your car anymore because you won't... Um, adhere to the regulations we have here. Um, so anyway, he looked completely shocked when we saw him. And it wouldn't have been as effective if I didn't have a nice strong guy next to me speaking firmly. So we were actually going to pay him some more. I was. So I went. I wasn't really going to. I went in the bank to get the money but called the cops instead. Of course, they didn't come right away um, so the guy left and said oh he said he wanted the money but he he doesn't trust me and I've been harassing him and he's gonna text uh, Preston to tell him the location of the car but he would accept the money I don't think so so um, so this is where it gets really good so what you have to do when you want your car back and you live on an island see that's an important part of this um, you're going to find it. And, you know, I had a feeling he would have parked it on the side of the road near that one address that was bogus. And guess what? It was so close to my old house. I went up to uh, rent a car from a local person. And it turns out that they said there was a Toyota Corolla in front of their house for three days, but it just got moved three minutes ago after our altercation. Um, so here's what I did. I went down the street and there was my car parked on the side. So I had my key and it turns out that the guy I was going to rent the car from used to own my car. So it's all been a very interesting journey. It's taught me patience. It's taught me to rely on my helpful angel friends. 
and um and it has taught me to not rely on the police so much and to take matters into your own hands because I wouldn't have found it if I didn't decide that thank you Jody and Andrea um, Adrian for helping me come to that decision so if you ever have your car stolen and you live on an island pretty good chance you're gonna get it back oh my god it stunk so bad it looked like he had killed a bird or something in the back there was a big sharp knife too ew I'm not gonna put his picture on here um he's gonna have his karma returned to him so um yeah it's been an exciting few days comment below let me know what you're thinking enjoy your life things change every day but that's how you get your car back Ha, 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 ha.